Hey guys, today I just want to show you how to model some steps. Uh, just let me pull up the picture really quick. It'll look basically something like that's a bad picture, like this right here. This is gonna be our steps. So that'll be our end result. So now let's get started. Uh, let's go to scale manipulator mode. Let's manipulate this. It the shape of the step depends on what you are making it for. All right. So uh, now we have that. Let's go get an array modifier and put one, no, zero, one in the Z spot. And you see it raises our step up. And let's increase that count. I'm going to do five steps right now. Oh, you can do more, of course. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to how to do a uh, railing. So I'm going to hit Shift S and cursor to selected. I'm going to space bar and add a cylinder. And I'm just going to manipulate this cylinder to look more like a railing. While well, still in, in scale, manip scale manipulator mode. Yeah. So I'm just going to grab that along the Z axis. That's a little tall. And that's a little short. Alright, so now that we have that done, I'm going to go to the one view, one five, and just manipulate that a little more. Alright, one, and I'm going to hit Shift D along the X axis, bring it over to about midway between the step, and grab it along the Z axis, and same thing, Shift D along the X axis. Grab it along, along the Z. And there we have our railing. Right click on the middle one, shift the D, this time rotate it, and rotate it to the angle you think your railings are going to be at. So now I'm just going to make that bigger and grab it along the Z axis. And there we go, we have our railing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct the sides so they don't look hollow. So now I'm just going to space bar and add a plane. Go to one view, rotate that 90 degrees. Go to seven top view and rotate that 90 degrees. And I'm just going to elongate it. I'm going to grab it along the Y axis. I'm going to grab it along the X axis. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Grab that along the Y a little bit more. And that's just basically we're gonna want to shape it with our stairs. Whoa, not crazy on me. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to once again do the same. Control three, Control one gives you a great view of this. I'm gonna just use this and manipulate it. There we go. So now I'm going to hit tab and I'm going to subdivide that three times. So now I'm going to alt right click on my first line. I'm going to grab it along the Z axis and I'm going to align it straight with my uh, staircase. That's basically what I'm going to do with all these lines. Alt right click, grab it, uh, X and align it with our staircases. That way we can have a nice clean cut. Oops. Grab it on the X. And if you're missing some vertices, I'll just some yeah, some vertices I'll just show you how to get some more. Uh grab it along the Z. Oops. Alt right. Click grab along the Z. Alright, now that we're missing some vertices, you can just control R, left click, right click, control R, left click, right click. Alright, so now that we have that done, we are going to go into face select mode and just right click on all these unwanted vertices, faces, hit X and delete the faces. And I'm going to tab out, hit 7. Shift D along the Y and just drag this down to my other side. 
Alright, so that's how you uh, model staircases. A uh, simple one, but you can add more and do more detail. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or tips, please comment below.